Recently, a Mars rover captured the first close-up images of the 3 Eye Atlas, and what they found is absolutely mind-blowing. The data coming back from Mars is making scientists say something they never expected. It's not a comet. So what is it? Why is this discovery so worrying? And what does this mean for our understanding of objects traveling between the stars? Stay with us because what I'm about to share will change the way you think about what's floating around in our cosmic neighborhood. To understand why this discovery is so significant, we need to talk about interstellar objects. These are cosmic visitors that don't belong to our solar system. They come from the vast spaces between stars, traveling through the galaxy for millions or even billions of years before passing through our little corner of space. Now we've only confirmed a handful of these interstellar visitors. The first one was Oumuamua back in 2017, which caused a massive stir in the scientific community because of its weird cigar shape and strange acceleration. Then we had 2i Borisov in 2019, which actually looked and behaved like a normal comet, which was almost a relief to scientists after the Oumuamua mystery. But now we have the 3i Atlas. When it was first detected by the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact, Last Alert System, or ATLAS for short, astronomers initially classified it as another interstellar comet. It seemed to be following a hyperbolic trajectory, meaning it was moving way too fast to be bound by the sun's gravity. Classic sign of an interstellar object. The scientific community was excited, but not overly concerned. After all, 2i Borisov had shown us that some interstellar objects can just be regular comets from other star systems. Nothing too crazy, right? Wrong? Everything changed when one of our Mars rovers managed to capture detailed images and data of the 3i Atlas during a fortunate alignment. And that's when things got weird. The first thing that caught everyone's attention was the surface. Comets are supposed to be dirty snowballs, ice mixed with rock and dust. When they get close to the sun, that ice sublimates, turns directly from solid to gas, creating that characteristic fuzzy appearance in those beautiful tales we all know and love. The 3 Eye Atlas doesn't have that. Instead, the high-resolution images show a surface that's remarkably smooth in some areas and covered with geometric patterns in others. We're talking about structures that look almost artificial, though let me be clear, we're not jumping to any alien conclusions here. But these patterns are definitely not what you'd expect from a natural comet. The spectroscopic analysis made things even stranger. When scientists analyzed the light reflecting off the 3 Eye Atlas, they found something shocking. The composition doesn't match any comet we've ever studied. Instead of water ice, carbon dioxide, and the usual comet ingredients, the data suggests a metallic composition with elements that are extremely rare in comets. One researcher described it as having a surface composition closer to certain types of asteroids, but with properties that don't quite match asteroids either. It's like the 3 Eye Atlas is in its own category entirely, and here's where it gets really interesting. The rover detected something that comets absolutely should not have, a magnetic field. A weak one, but it's there. Comets don't have magnetic fields. They're just ice and rock. They don't have the internal structure or composition needed to generate magnetism, but the 3 Eye Atlas does. Now you might be wondering, why is any of this worrying? So it's not a typical comet. The universe is full of weird stuff, right? Well, let me break down why scientists are genuinely concerned about this discovery. First, we need to talk about trajectories. The 3 Eye Atlas isn't just passing through our solar system. Its path brought it unusually close to Mars, close enough for our rover to get these detailed observations. But here's the thing. When astrophysicists ran the calculations backward to trace where it came from, the results were disturbing. The trajectory doesn't point to any nearby star system. In fact, it seems to have come from a region of space that's essentially empty. No major stars, no known stellar nurseries, nothing that would logically produce and eject an object like this. It's as if the 3 i Atlas just appeared in interstellar space and decided to visit us. Second, there's the speed issue. Even for an interstellar object, 
the 3i Atlas is moving fast. Really fast. It's traveling at velocities that would require an enormous amount of energy to achieve. Natural gravitational assist from star systems can explain some fast-moving objects, but the 3i Atlas is pushing the boundaries of what we can explain through natural acceleration alone. Third, and this is what's keeping some scientists up at night, there are anomalies in its movement. Remember how Umamua showed that weird non-gravitational acceleration? Scientists eventually attributed that to outgassing, like a natural rocket effect from ice turning to gas. But the 3i Atlas is showing similar acceleration patterns without any visible outgassing. No tail, no coma, no jets of material, yet it's still changing speed in ways that gravity alone can't explain. This suggests some kind of internal mechanism or propulsion that we don't understand. And before you ask, yes, this is one of the reasons why some people are bringing up the possibility of artificial origin, though mainstream scientists are still exploring natural explanations. Fourth, there's the density problem. Based on how the 3i Atlas responds to the sun's gravitational pull, scientists have calculated its density. And it's all wrong. It's either way too dense to be a comet or way too light to be a solid metallic asteroid. Some models suggest it might be hollow or have a structure with lots of empty space inside. A hollow interstellar object? That's not something nature typically produces. So if the 3i Atlas isn't a comet, what is it? The scientific community is buzzing with theories and I wanna walk you through the main contenders. Some scientists believe the 3i Atlas could be a type of asteroid we've simply never encountered before. Perhaps it formed in conditions completely different from anything in our solar system. Maybe it comes from a star system with unusual chemistry or formed during some cosmic event we don't fully understand yet. This theory suggests that the metallic composition and strange structure are natural, but just represent materials and formation processes we haven't seen before. After all, we've only studied objects from our own solar system in detail. Who knows what's out there in the galaxy? The problem with this theory? It still doesn't explain the magnetic field or the propulsion anomalies, and it doesn't really address why the trajectory is so unusual. Here's a darker possibility. What if the 3i Atlas is a fragment from a destroyed planet? Imagine a planet in another star system that was obliterated by some catastrophic event, maybe a collision with another planet or near miss with its parent star. The fragments from such a destruction would be scattered into interstellar space at high velocities. If the 3i Atlas came from the core or mantle of such a planet, that might explain the unusual metallic composition and density. The magnetic field could be a remnant from the planet's original magnetic field, frozen into the fragment. This theory is fascinating but also sobering. It would mean we're looking at the remains of a dead world, a piece of cosmic wreckage from an unimaginable disaster that happened who knows how long ago. Another hypothesis suggests that the 3i Atlas might have formed in an environment completely different from planetary systems. Some scientists are proposing it could be an object that formed in the debris disk around a dying star or even in the aftermath of a supernova. These extreme environments can create materials and structures that would never form in normal solar systems. The intense heat, pressure, and radiation could forge objects with unique properties that seem impossible under normal circumstances. If this is true, the 3i Atlas would be a sample of matter from one of the universe's most violent events, somehow surviving a journey through interstellar space to reach us. Okay, I know some of you have been waiting for this one. Let's address the elephant in the room. A small but vocal group of scientists and researchers are suggesting that the 3i Atlas might be artificial, an interstellar probe sent by an intelligent civilization. Now, before you dismiss this entirely, hear me out. The evidence that's making some people consider this includes the unusual trajectory that doesn't point to any source, the apparent hollow or low density structure, the magnetic field, the unexplained acceleration, and the geometric surface patterns. All of these things would make sense if the 3i Atlas were some kind of manufactured object. A probe sent to explore the galaxy, perhaps millions of years ago by a civilization that might not even exist anymore. However, most mainstream scientists are very cautious about this theory. 
It's not that they think it's impossible, but rather that we should exhaust all natural explanations first before jumping to such an extraordinary conclusion. As the saying goes, extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. Let's get into the specific details of what the Mars rover actually captured. These images are unlike anything we've seen before in terms of interstellar object close-ups. The resolution isn't perfect. The 3 i Atlas was still quite far away even at its closest approach to Mars. But it's far better than anything we could have gotten from Earth-based telescopes or even space telescopes looking at such a small, distant object. The first striking feature is the surface texture. Instead of the rough, cratered, irregular surface we see on comets and most asteroids, parts of the 3i Atlas appear almost polished. There are regions that reflect light in a way that suggests a smooth, possibly metallic surface. But contrasting with these smooth areas are sections with distinctive patterns. These aren't just random cracks or fractures, but we're talking about what appear to be regularly spaced features, almost like panels or tiles. Some researchers have described them as resembling scales or overlapping plates. Could this be a natural crystal structure? Maybe some exotic material that forms geometric patterns? Possibly, but it's unusual enough that it sparked intense debate. The rover also captured what might be the most intriguing detail. There's a region that appears darker than the rest of the object, and it shows unusual thermal properties. This area seems to be either absorbing more heat or radiating it differently than the surrounding surface. Some have speculated this could be an opening or cavity of some kind, while others think it might be a different material composition. The color of the 3 i Atlas is also noteworthy. It's not the dirty brown or gray we typically see with comets and asteroids. Instead, it has a distinctive metallic sheen with hints of what observers describe as a blue-gray tint in certain lighting conditions. This is consistent with the spectroscopic data suggesting a metallic composition. Perhaps most fascinating is what we don't see. There's no visible outgassing, no jets of material, no dust cloud, nothing that would indicate comet activity, despite the object being well within the range where a typical comet would be very active. This discovery has massive implications for multiple fields of science. Let's break down what this means for our understanding of the universe. For astronomy and planetary science, the 3 i Atlas is challenging our classification systems. We've always divided small solar system bodies into comets, asteroids, and a few subcategories. But what do you call something that doesn't fit any of these boxes? We might need to create entirely new categories for interstellar objects because they clearly don't play by the same rules as objects born in our solar system. For astrobiology, the implications are intriguing. If the 3 i Atlas is indeed a fragment from a destroyed planet, it could potentially carry materials or even preserved biological signatures from another world. This is a long shot, but it's not impossible. Studying such an object could give us insights into whether life exists elsewhere in the galaxy. For physics, the apparent propulsion and magnetic properties are raising questions about what natural processes we might not fully understand yet. There could be physics at play here that we need to discover or reconsider. Maybe there are natural mechanisms for objects to accelerate in space that we haven't accounted for. Or maybe magnetic fields can persist in small bodies in ways we didn't think possible. For the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, regardless of whether the 3 i Atlas is artificial or not, it's got researchers thinking more seriously about how we would recognize an interstellar probe if we ever encountered one. What would be the signatures? How would we distinguish it from a natural object? This discovery is forcing us to refine those criteria. And for human space exploration, the 3 i Atlas represents both a challenge and an opportunity. If we could somehow intercept and study this object directly, the scientific return would be enormous. But it's moving so fast that catching up to it would be incredibly difficult with our current technology. If you found this video interesting, smash that like button and subscribe for more updates on this story as it develops. Drop a comment below with your theory about what the 3i Atlas really is.